we're in uh, Anko Center today. Um, I'm going to be filming. Uh, ah. Ah. <laughs> we're in Anko Center today, and we're going to see some fish being fed. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, just say like stuff like that. What? All right, just like introduce yourself and um, what your job is. And... No, I'm so awkward. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Just all right, just smile. Okay, so <laughs> so what's in the bucket? Um, so there's some shrimp defrosting in this bucket, so we're going to feed the fish a little bit today because um, we were closed yesterday and that's our typical feed day. How often do you feed them? Uh, we feed them every other day and four times a week. Alright, so it looks like just shrimp, right? Yeah, it's mostly just shrimp um, and then we do have some like pet food, um, a pet store, frozen food that we feed some of the other fish too. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what's your favorite fish here? Oh, that's a hard question. Um, I really like all of the animals, like the invertebrates that we have in our touch tank. Um, but I like the toadfish. That's my favorite. Oh uh, yeah, I heard Bob Goldberg quote that one. Yeah, he did. He did. It's a cool one. He's quirky and he has like a little personality, he swims around. Bob Goldberg or the fish? <laughs> the fish, the fish. <laughs> The puffer fish are very popular here. Oh yeah, people love the puffer fish because they see them out when they're walking on the trails and when they come in and they can see them up close and personal. So people love to see the puffers here. Alright, very good. Let's go see the fish. Right, so in this tank we have our Florida spiny lobster. Um, so we feed them whole shrimp with the shell still on. So I'm just going to throw the shrimp in there. He has pretty bad eyesight. But the two shorter antenna that you see have chemoreceptors on them, so he can feel the vibrations in the water and sense chemical changes as well. Oh, look at him go. In this tank we have a juvenile checkered puffer for a baby. We also have a horseshoe crab down here at the bottom. A lot of people mistake him for a rock. Alright, so in this tank we have more mohara. We also have two gobies hanging out on the bottom. There's also a saltwater hermit crab in here. He's hiding in the back, but sometimes when he's up on the rocks, if you stick your hand in with a piece of shrimp, he'll actually take it right out of your hand. Crab has these little shell shop here, little different shells. Yeah, so this shell actually was covered in algae just like these two like three days ago and the crab, the hermit crab ate all of the algae off the shell. Do you think he's gonna change back into his older shell since the algae's gone now? He might, um, he's very quirky, he changes shells quite often. 
So in this tank we have another mohara and two gobies. These gobies are really small and they often blend in with the rocks. So I usually just stand around here and make sure that I see them swim up and actually take something to eat. Um, we also have a scarlet hermit crab. Um, he likes to hang out up here on this rock formation and he's not very active but he eats the algae as well. Now these gobies are actually darted gobies which look like freshwater darters, dart fish. Mm -hmm. When, uh, when I first saw him, I was like, wow, oh, how does he have dark fish in uh, an estuary? There you are. In Ohio, they have a lot of darters. Huh? In Ohio, they have a lot of dark fish. You do? Yeah, in Ohio. Oh, in Ohio. And they look exactly like that, but on gobies. Huh. So in this tank here we have our southern puffer and we also have a toadfish. Um, a lot of people don't even know the toadfish is in here because he kind of blends in with the rocks. He's my favorite fish here. Um, so the toadfish is kind of unique because he's an ambush predator. So I drop the shrimp right in above his face and he kind of just attacks it. So let's see if he's hungry. I guess he's not very hungry. No. He likes to play with his food. He's so huge. This is by far the biggest toadfish I've seen. Yeah, he's really cool. Alright, all right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the animal feeding. Uh, if you get a chance, stop by the Ancope Center in Hollywood, Florida. Check him out in person. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching. Yeah.